Wow, how rare are those? I try my best, okay? Hi everybody, and welcome back to another Heritage Moment. It's me, Claire, your host, and I'm back with another episode in the Stone series, The Rear Doss. And if you don't know what that means, do not panic. This isn't a test yet. First I'll tell you, and then I'll test you. Ready? Let's go. Merriam-Webster defines rear doss as, quote, a usually ornamental wood or stone screen or partition wall behind the altar. For our purposes, I will amend the definition slightly to any definition or decoration behind an altar. Why the definition change? Well, rear doss in the Gothic style, as this is a Gothic building, can span from this to this. So clearly, some flexibility is needed. Here's our rear doss. As you can see, it is composed of 11 sculptures carved from two different types of freestone and was placed in 1923 by the family of Llewellyn Jones, fourth bishop. Also, fun fact, it was designed by Giles Gilbert Scott, grandson of Sir George Gilbert Scott, the original architect of the building. Okay, so this is gonna be another one of those detail-heavy ones, so we'll montage it slowly so you can really see the detail in each sculpture. So up first, we have two angels bookending each side of the screen, holding items like instruments, chalices, and more. Following them, from left to right, we have St. Theodore of Tarsus, former Archbishop of Canterbury, he has the crocodile, St. David, the patron saint of Wales, and St. Michael, the archangel, overcoming Satan in a demonic form. Next, we have a statue of Christ, and following him, we have St. George, the patron saint of England, St. Andrew, patron saint of Scotland, and St. Patrick, patron saint of Ireland. Notice that little shamrock? Some interesting facts about this screen are that every person holds something in their hands, either their holy symbol or a representation of their heroics or success. Additionally, all of the sculptures who are best known for besting evil or injustice are shown in similar poses, standing tall with the representation of evil crushed beneath their feet. This is a three-pronged metaphor, symbolizing both good defeating evil good being higher to represent heaven while evil is lower to represent hell or being dragged down to hell, and it is also a reference to Romans 16.20. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. These saints, acting in the will of God, enact this verse. All right, that's all from me today. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you tune in again next time to learn more about the stone in our cathedral. Have a great day!